the king of mysterious injuries and remarkable recoveries is doing it again. No, I'm not talking about the liquid metal shapeshifter from Terminator 2. I'm talking about the indestructible Spaniard, Rafael. I was injured, but not really Nadal. Just a month ago in Indian Wells final against Taylor Fritz, Nadal was injured for who knows which time in his career. And this time not even the classic Nadal medical timeout could save him from defeat as Fritz beat him in straight sets. After the match, Nadal said that he felt pain when breathing and later he announced that he had a stress fracture in a rib that would sideline him for 4-6 to six weeks, putting his preparation for the French Open in jeopardy. But yesterday Nadal shocked absolutely no one when he announced on Twitter that he is back in training on clay. You can imagine my complete lack of surprise upon hearing the news that the brave Spanish warrior once again miraculously recovered from his wounds just in time for Roland Garros. Why am I not surprised, you ask? Why, Novak? Why? Well, Rafa has been injured a lot in his career, but somehow the timing of his injuries has always been, for lack of a better word, convenient. Nadal's fans always say that he's been unlucky with injuries throughout his career, but I completely disagree. I think he's been incredibly lucky that his injuries never seem to happen during his favorite tournaments. Nadal has been competing in Grand Slams since 2003, and since then he has missed 10 major tournaments because of injuries. But he only missed the French Open once all the way back in 2004. And when it comes to Masters tournaments, in the last 18 years he missed 38 Masters events, but only 6 of those on clay, and only one since 2006. In other words, despite his numerous injuries, Nadal played in every Roland Garros since 2004, and he only missed one clay Masters since 2006. Do you see how he's been lucky with injuries? It's almost like his injuries happen in some kind of cycles, so that he misses his least favorite tournaments, but is always in top shape for clay events. And speaking of cycles, what else is done in cycles? I can't remember right now. And before you say it's all just a coincidence, consider this. We all know that Nadal struggles to perform in indoor events, because it's a fast surface with a low bounce, so his pusher tactics don't work there. In his 19 years on the tour, he has never won a single title in Paris Masters or ATP Finals, both of which are played indoors. And guess what? He has missed 10 out of 19 Paris Masters and 7 out of 17 ATP Finals that he qualified for. He just happens to be injured the most at the two events that he is least likely to win. What a lucky coincidence. What do you think? Will Rafa be ready for the French Open? Let me know in the comments. And remember, steroids may grow your muscles, but they can also make your hair fall out.